All right, people, welcome back to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a card that would be interesting slash maybe possibly super busted in Mermel, especially in the OCT. But uh, we have a Ice Barrier Monster, people, an Ice Barrier Monster, hello. You know, and the Ice Barriers, they're known for being very, well, at least their Synchro Monsters are known for being very, very powerful. I mean, what, Brio's on the list, <laughs> Brio's banned, Trisha's banned, and, well, in the TCG, Trisha's banned. Uh, I think Delorn is at one, I want to say. You know, it goes up and down between one and two, but I believe Dorn, Delorn is at one. Gunnier never got hit, though. So, <laughs> this person decided to go ahead and create another Ice Barrier Synchro Monster. So, let's go over this card and uh, see how broken it is, so... This is Gun, Swordsman of the Ice Barrier. So I don't know why his name is Gun, but he doesn't clearly he doesn't use a gun. He uses swords. He's a swordsman of the Ice Barrier, but his name is Gun. Like okay, I guess. So it is an uh, a Water Warrior Synchro Effect Monster, level five, uh, 2200 attack, 1800 defense. So stats are not bad. No, not bad at all. And it is made with one tuner and one or more non-tuner water monsters. So. Uh, it's not generic, so not everybody can go this. You need a non-tuner water monster, but you know, an easy, easy uh, sync five, especially in OCG where they have multiple divas. I mean, here we only have one. Multiple divas over there in the OCG. Let's go diva. Go ahead and summon a marksman. Bam! There you go. Here is a gun. But is it worth synchro summoning? Let's go ahead and see its effect. So, when this card is synchro summoned, you can target any number of cards. I mean, you can discard any number of cards in your hand and destroy cards on the field up to the number of cards discarded this way. Then draw one card. So, pitch that marksman, pitch that infantry, pitch that, uh, uh, that, uh, that gun, pitch that Neftibus, pop cards, all their effects. <laughs> like, oh my god. Mm, mm. Wow, super powerful, super powerful. <laughs> so, it, this card's just another enabler, just like Brio, just another enabler. And, of course, Brio got banned, like, right before Mermels came out, so... Uh, I guess Konami's like, you know what, I mean, Brio was a problem to begin with, but, <laughs> uh, they're just like, no, 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 it's a water, they're gonna get, they're gonna get their effects, it's gonna be dumb, and, you know, Gun is pretty much in the same boat, so, and, uh, I definitely feel that, uh, it would just be super busted if this was true, so actually, let me go ahead and read, because I'm actually now doing a card review about this, I'm wondering if there was, if the monsters that they pitch would miss timing. That's how I'm wondering, because that whole draw card effect. So, let me see some Atlanteans. I think I'll Atlantean at land. Yeah, there we go. So, let's say when this card is coming. So, when this card is sent to the graveyard to activate the Would you miss timing? Because there's a difference between if and when. So, I think you might actually miss timing. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I think you missed timing. Do you miss timing? I think you do. You activate this effect. You discard number of cards from your hand. Destroy cards on the field up to the number of cards destroyed this way. Then draw one card. And then their effect would activate? Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a hypothetical here. Then draw one card. It's not and if you do. Then draw one card. So you discard them. You destroy. Then you draw a card. And since it says when, don't, wouldn't the monsters pitch lose miss timing? I think they would. Uh, I'm so I'm so I'm off right now. So, well, Neptibus wouldn't. As if it says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, activate a water monster effect, target one Lantian monster in your graveyard, and special summon it. So, Neptibus, you still get the effects. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, infantry and, uh, marksmen, I think you would miss timing. But, you know, why do you really care? I mean, you, you're gonna go ahead and pitch them and get this effect anyway. So, go ahead and pitch them, pop anyway. Pop as many as you discarded, then draw a card. So, uh, go ahead and get your, uh, card back from just synchro summon these guys because generally when you synchro summon you go ahead and neg but I don't think you would because you're going to go ahead and draw a card so that evens out uh Neptibus would get its effect do you get your effect from gun? is it gun? gun? let me just type abyss type abyss it should pop up 
Marmel Abyss Gun is her name, right? Is it Gund or Gun? Gund. Alright, I spelled it wrong. If this card is this card, so good. Oh, nope. So Gun would get her effect too. So I think it would just be Marksman Infantry. So you can go ahead and uh, pitch some Marmels, pitch Gun, Gun's effect. Oh my god, like this card would be OTK pushing it. OTK. Oh, and it, and it has one more effect just to make sure that it's gonna freaking OTK you. This card can attack twice during each battle phase. A twin two monster attacks twice at 4400 direct attack. With him pitching guns and other Marmels. So literally, I can go summon gun. Gun effect. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch uh, dragoons. And actually, let me let me let me actually look up dragoons too. Does dragoons say if? No, it says when. Okay. So I think you missed time with Dragoons too, which is fine. Because I'm going to go ahead and summon him. I'm going to go Gun. I'm going to pitch Dragoons. I'm going to pitch a Gund. I'm going to pitch a Megalo. I'm going to pitch a... A, a Neptibus. You know, pop four cards. Pop four of your cards. Draw a card. Gun will go off. Neptibus will go off. Neptibus will go ahead and summon me Dragoons. Uh, Gund will go ahead and summon me Megalo. Megalo effect. Tribute to Dragoons. Attack twice with gun, attack twice with Megalo, game, like, yo, <laughs> like, yeah, it, 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 this card's powerful, this card never really existed, definitely, go ahead and play the Marmels, because the, the deck's already really aggressive, but this this card doesn't even help, it just adds fuel to the fire, the, the ice barrier adds fuel to the fire, so, uh, tell me what you guys think about gun in the comment section below, and tell me if I'm, if I'm correct or incorrect when it comes to missing timing, because I think if it's monster, if it says win, I think they miss timing. But if, they, if it's an F, then I think they will resolve after uh, the effect of gun has resolved, so they don't miss timing. Yeah. The same thing with like, um, like Armageddon Knight. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of a, a nice hypothetical here, because I know like, you know, Armageddon Knight is like win, but then, you know, Deneb is like if, so tell me I still miss timing because of that if, but if it's a win, then it can miss timing. Alright, you know. For example, if you go Goblinburg summon Deneb, will you get to search? Yes, but if you go Goblinburg, you know, summon Armageddon Knight, will you get the effect? No. No. Because it misses timing. You know, same thing with Stratos. It's a win, not an if. Anyway, I'm done trying to at least attempt to teach you a little bit about ifs and wins in Yu-Gi-Oh! But uh go ahead and tell me in the comments section below A if it misses timing or not on Marksman Infantry and Dragoons who say when. And um, this in, in general, tell me what you guys think about the card. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.